Hello friends, what is up? My name is Des Scoggin and I am so excited to be one of your 2018 Bodybuilding.com Spokesmodel Search finalists. Today, as you've seen as well as the past week, we have been doing live workouts and I'm super excited to have my time to shine with you guys. I'm so excited to bring you guys today a shoulder workout by yours truly. Today, we're gonna go through a warm up, do some accessory work, get into a compound movement, have a burnout and then cool down. I'm so excited to be here and I'm excited to have you guys along. So what we're gonna do is start with a warm up. I'm gonna grab the PVC pipe and walk you guys through a few things that I like to do. What we're gonna do first is grab the PVC pipe and what a lot of people would call a snatch grip. This is gonna be the grip that is most comfortable for you, whether it be narrow or wide, whatever way that you can get this PVC pipe up and over your body. We're first gonna perform some pass-throughs and then go into around the world. We're also called figure eights. What I'm gonna do is first bring the PVC pipe over and around my body. Now, as I'm performing these warm-ups, I wanna make sure that I am really paying attention to warming up these shoulders, getting the blood flowing and lubricating the joints. If you guys have any questions during this warm-up as well as the whole workout, feel free to drop them below so that I can answer. After I'm done doing a few with the PVC pipe, I would aim for about 10 to 12 reps of each different kind of movement. I'm gonna go ahead and set this to the side and we're gonna get started in the workout. What we have first is going to be two sets of 10, 10, 10 for three different exercises. As you see on the workout above, it's gonna be three sets, but for time's sake today, I'm gonna to go for two sets of each. We're gonna perform 10 bent over front raises Go ahead, stand up straight, 10 lateral raises, and then I'm gonna bend over, hinging from the hip, 10 rear delt flies. Let's go ahead and get started. didn't breathe that whole set, it's fine. Make sure that you're breathing throughout these whole first sets to make sure that you're getting the oxygen flow into your body. We don't want you guys passing out. That would not be fun. And coincidentally, I have no one here to help me. So I need to make sure that I'm breathing. <laughs> um, the great thing about making sure that you're starting out with a movement like this is that we're getting all three parts of the shoulders warmed up. Got your anterior, your medial, and your posterior deltoid muscle. So we're hitting all these in the first set making sure we're getting them warmed up for the rest of the workout. All right, you have a question from YouTube. Who is your biggest inspiration? Man, inspiration. I would have to say my biggest inspiration would have to be and has been Taylor Chamberlain. She has been someone I've really looked up to the past couple years, especially since she was a part of the spokesmodel search. And ever since then, watching her journey, it's been really, really cool and very inspiring. Um, Facebook, Kristen says, killing it as always, Des. Kristen, I see you, girl. I know exactly who you are, okay? Let's go ahead and get into this first set. Keep asking your questions. Loving it. I breathed that time, much better set. After those two sets, for you guys three, if you're gonna perform this workout, we're gonna go ahead and move on to some upright rows. I'm gonna go ahead and use an easy bar for these, but whether you're at a home gym, 
Whether you're at a gym, you can perform these with dumbbells, an easy bar, a barbell, whatever is most comfortable for you, go ahead and slay it, okay? Here we go. We're gonna perform this upright row with a little bit more narrow grip. We're gonna go for 15 reps here. What we're gonna do though is we're gonna add a little bit of tempo. So instead of going for the heaviest weight where you're like, huh, huh, we're gonna slow it down, grab a weight that we can control and slay the game. Here we go. Just a side note, the tempo I use there, as you can see in the workout above, is going to be a one, two, two tempo. That is gonna be quick explode up, one second, two second hold, two second let down, also known as your concentric and your eccentric movements. Nick from Facebook asks, what is your favorite muscle group to train? My favorite muscle group to train has to be my shoulders. That's why I picked it. I went through a ton of injuries with my shoulders, playing college volleyball, as well as just being an athlete all my life. So being able to use bodybuilding to literally rehab my shoulders after my athletic career has been major key. Let's go ahead and get into the second set. Again, tempo we're going, one, two, It. What we're going to do now is move on to our last superset of this workout before our compound movement. We're going to go ahead and perform some Cuban presses in Around the World, which I'll break, for, break down for you guys via right here. Okay. Make sure you guys keep asking questions. I want you guys to know who I am, and I want to make sure that I am giving you guys exactly what you want to see out of this live workout. All right, Alyssa from Facebook says, what is your favorite time of day to train and any way we can get, get, any way we can get a dab between sets? <laughs> Dabs actually increase muscle protein synthesis by 900% during your workout, so I will dab between every set, Alyssa. <laughs> but my favorite day to train, was that correct? Or favorite time of day to train. Favorite time of day to train would have to be after the hours of 9 or 10 a.m., I feel like I have a good meal in me, typically have coffee in me, might even have pre-workout in me, which is a double combination for a dangerous day at the gym. So that is my favorite day to train. Thanks for asking, Alyssa. Let's go ahead and get to this first set. I'm gonna go ahead and grab tens here, making sure that I'm keeping form over my ego. I wanna make sure that I'm doing these lifts exactly how I can and getting the best out of it instead of just lifting some heavy, obnoxious stuff. So I'm gonna do first, Palms are gonna be facing up here. I'm gonna be performing in around the world here, keeping a circular motion, nice and controlled. I'm gonna go for 15 reps, and from there, I'm gonna get into a Cuban press, which is gonna be an upright row to an external rotation, up and back down for eight reps. So let's go ahead and get started in that first 15.
as you see, I went ahead and dropped weight in between those two exercises. I wanna make sure I'm performing my around the world as best as I can with a good weight. But because your Cuban presses are gonna isolate your rotator cuff, those are very baby muscles, and if you have ever suffered a shoulder injury, you know how bad it can hurt. So making sure that we're using light weight to strengthen and not strain, major key. All right, you have a few questions. Yeah. Um, Dawn says, what good isolated core strengthening exercises would you recommend? Is it Dawn Robinson? Um, I don't see last Dang name. It. Yeah. it might be my mom. If yeah. it's you, mom, I love you. Um, core strengthening exercises. I love to perform any type of front rack accessory movement. So whether it be a goblet squat, front rack squat, those are surprisingly gonna be something that isolates your core. Other than that, working on things like plank, making sure you're tucking your belly button in, any type of core movement like that, where you're really making sure that you're tightening in in that muscle, it's gonna be great. Uh, Mariah asks, what do you do to push through low, low motivation, whether it be in the gym or your diet? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, you know, motivation is something that is always gonna be fleeting. It'll be fire and then it'll be cold. So every single day I have to wake up and remember why I'm doing what I'm doing. And it's days like this, it's experiences like this, where I remember why I grind every day out of the year is to get in situations like this. So I'd remember and take note of what your goals are to make sure that you can set yourself up for success daily. Let's go ahead and get into this next set. Keep asking because I'm loving it, okay? Last note I want to leave you guys with here. Make sure that during your movements and accessories, we're keeping about a 45 second rest time. It's gonna keep the heart rate up, as you can tell, and make sure that we're getting a little bit of cardio while we're strengthening. As for compound movements, like the one I'm gonna perform next, aiming for about 16 to 90 seconds in between there. All right, a question from Facebook. If you were stranded on a deserted island and could only have one piece of gym equipment for, to use for the rest of your life, what would it be? That is an amazing question, 10 out of 10. I would say the one piece of equipment I'd have would definitely be a nice solid dumbbell. You can do goblet squats, you can do rows, you can do curls for the girls, tries for the guys, anything, everything. One dumbbell, I'll be set forever. Good question. Uh, Michaela asks, who's the best sister? Um, I actually don't have sisters. No, I'm just kidding. Michaela, you're my favorite sister. I figured you would ask something like that. Miss you, love you, take care of my dog. Thank you. All right, guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to our compound activity now. This is gonna be a seated dumbbell press. We're gonna go ahead and perform these with dumbbells. However, you can do a standing dumbbell press, you can do a standing barbell press, you can get crafty and do a seated barbell press as well. Whatever floats your boat, you can do that. We're gonna go ahead and get situated right behind me here. I'm gonna go ahead and again, go for some tempo work. We're going to one, two, one. One second explosive, two second on the way down. Nice one second pause, pushing back up. So it's gonna be a nice flow. We're going for eight to 10 reps. Let's get to it. Make sure you're breathing, folks. These can get dangerous. 
Denise asks from YouTube, why do you like doing tempo exercises? That's a great question. I think tempo a lot of times overlooked in training programs. I've noticed the most hypertrophy, meaning the growth of the size of my muscles within tempo training. By doing this, it forces you to slow down for a second, slow your roll, grab some weights that you can really move at a good pace and excel from it and reap the rewards. What do you do on rest days? On rest days, I do, depending on how my training goes that week, I do like to keep it active. Taking my dog for a walk, going for a walk just by myself, making sure that I'm moving, I'm up and I'm around. However, if I have a hard training week, I'm really loading up on some heavy weight, I'm gonna take the day, I'm gonna watch some Netflix. If you have any suggestions, drop them below because I'm looking for a new series. But I wanna make sure that I'm just relaxing, letting my body recover because believe it or not, it needs it. Let's go ahead and get into the second set so I don't die before this live is over. Uh, YouTube wants to know what your perfect cheat meal is. Ooh, perfect cheat meal. I would have to go with sushi, froyo. Every time I go home and I have a cheat meal, my boyfriend and I always go to sushi, and coincidentally, the froyo place is right next door. So that is going to be the best. And uh, I don't know if it's just me, but I'm about 80% toppings, 20% froyo, sometimes 90-10. Uh, what are you drinking right now and what supplements do you like to take? Right now I'm just drinking some water. I just got done drinking some pre-workout. However, I'm just kind of cooling down with some water here in the gym. My favorite supplements, I honestly haven't been supplementing as much in my off season just because right now, especially when it comes to protein, I want to eat all the calories I can. However, I like to make sure that I'm supplementing post-workout with a creatine and a glutamine like to make sure that on the days where I need to, I have a pre-workout and a protein. And I also like to make sure I'm taking my fish oils, my vitamin K, D, as well as making sure that I'm taking a greens drink every morning. Keeps the body good. We're gonna go ahead and move on over here into our burnout set. We're gonna have three exercises for you guys. Let's go ahead, travel over here, and I'll break it down. All right. Three exercises we're gonna finish with is gonna be a tri-set. Each of these we're gonna go for 15 reps. That's right, folks, 15. It's gonna be a burnout. The first one we're gonna do, grabbing the weights, we're gonna go for some dumbbell front raises. We wanna make sure our shoulders are rolled back, back is locked, and we're gonna be raising these dumbbells out to the sides, pinkies flaring in, just a tad, just a dab. So then from there, we're gonna come over to the bench, we're gonna do some incline push-ups, not just a push-up though, we're not working the chest, we're going for the boulders. It's gonna look like this. 15 of those bad boys coming back down, grabbing the weights once more, rolling back, hinging at the hips, Y raise. So, if I have any cheerleaders out here, I expect you to excel at this movement because we're gonna be going up and out like that. Let's go ahead and get started here. Dumbbell raises. 15 bad reps. Make them good, but it's gonna suck.
that's hard. Why did I do that? You guys are gonna love this workout if you try it. If you do, make sure to connect with me on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, the whole shebang at Desby or Desby Fit. Love to hear how you guys like this workout. Uh, Facebook asks, would this be a good workout for women who are just starting? It definitely would. I believe that any workout is great for anyone. It's all gonna be relative to the weights that you're lifting. Now, if you go in and try to do 500,000 pounds, it's not gonna work for you just starting out. However, making sure that you're starting at a weight you're comfortable with, can keep good form with, and make sure that you're excelling every time you're doing it, perfect. All right, Danielle from YouTube says, arm and shoulder goals, beast mode, girl. <laughs> you know, I'm actually known for my chest split. Hashtag, this split is lit. That's trademark, don't use it. Just kidding. Let's go ahead and get into our last set here, guys. Don't log off yet. This is just getting started. Kind of. All right, guys, that is the end of the total workout. Now, don't go walking out of the gym after you're done with something like this. We're gonna have to make sure that we're cooling down. Now, there are plenty of different ways to cool down, whether it be some static stretching, which is usually performed post-workout versus dynamic at the beginning, or just simply just jumping on a treadmill, walking a little bit, cooling it down. All right, YouTube asks, can you please inform us about some mistakes to not be done during shoulder workout? Definitely one huge mistake I would make sure that shouldn't be done is going too heavy. I think with the stigma of building your body, you wanna go as heavy as possible. And don't get me wrong, that's flipping sweet. I love lifting heavy. However, when it comes to something like shoulders, these muscles are so, so tiny compared to the legs, the glutes, the core, everything. These are the tiniest muscles. So making sure that you're using weight that is going to be good for you to strengthen and not strain is going to be really great. Facebook asks, what's your nutrition like and how many meals do you eat in a day? That's a great question. My nutrition has definitely been like this. I have been learning so much the past year and a half bodybuilding that I've found exactly what has started to work for me. So that's the journey that you have to expect to be on. Nowadays, I'm currently what people call IIFYM, flexible dieting, if it fits your macros. This is perfect for my lifestyle because I'm constantly traveling, I'm on the go. All I have to do is scan that barcode and pow, got my macros for the day. Now, other than that, I usually eat about four to five times a day. I am one who has found out about myself. I love, love, love big meals. So I like to really stuff myself, feel fueled for the next couple hours, have a snack here and there, and then make sure I'm finishing out the night with a huge meal. All right, last question from YouTube. Yeah. What would you say to girls feeling intimidated by guys in the free weights section? Been there, rock that. I can definitely say that it is something that you're gonna have to just continue to overcome, build that confidence. What I found was really special for me was coming to bodybuilding.com and finding a program. Having something to follow made me feel super duper confident in the gym and be able to find the program that works for me, learn how to utilize it within the gym, and just crush it. So I'd make sure I find something to follow. That way you know exactly what you're doing. 
Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. It was a blast to take you guys through a shoulder blasting workout. I'm super excited for you guys to tune in the rest of the week to the rest of the finalists. And then make sure you stay tuned Friday where they will be announcing the winner of the bodybuilding.com spokes model search for the year 2018. Thank you again so, so much. I hope to hear from you guys and see you guys again soon.